when it came out with this one, loved it. those spirited driving games and all they tell you to go speed. Hello and welcome to the channel, Rogan's Rated Car. I'm your motor journalist, Rogan Richard. And today we, as you and I, will be rating 2021 Ford Explorer ST. I love the color of this one right here. Can't go wrong with black wheels. That's a timeless look. When it gets dirty, it doesn't look too bad. So I took it for a test drive and now we're just gonna go ahead and cover the exterior of this car. can't tell me you don't like this front end. This front end is, I like it. it. It makes it stand out. Hey, I hope you guys don't mind the shades. I'm not trying to look cool, but it's sunny out here. Uh, I love this grill, how it's all black, mostly black. Parking sensors up front here and your front facing camera and this blacked out lettering here. I think it gives a Explorer a particular look, an aggressive look. Not really subtle, somewhat subtle, but you can easily tell this looks like this is the aggressive model of the Ford Explorer. Love how that ST pops out there as well. So love the front end, I love the lights. That's the new trend among these cars, modern cars. Now smaller lights, your LED daytime running lamps here. You got decent leg room back here. This seat was pushed back quite a bit. I'm 5'10", so someone six feet tall, maybe even 6'1", could sit comfortably back here before hitting their head. You have this uh, big old sunroof, I love it. USB-C connection and a traditional USB. An AC, 110 volt, 150 watt plug as well. And then you have your AC, I mean, you have your climate controls back here as well. Not that the rear passenger is driving, but you got a decent view out the front window there. There's a nice cool lighting inside the door hinge here. You can adjust the seat electronically. The steering wheel electronically is a telescope steering wheel. Moonroof. Controls to open the moonroof. We have matte lighting right here. I love this black, all this black on the inside with this white stitching. So we have drive modes in here as well. I wanna show you a couple of items inside the cabin here. This is the dial for changing gears. Below that, this is the dial for the several different drive modes this Explorer has. Let me show you what these are on the screen. This is normal. Let me turn the dial in the opposite direction. And this is Eco for Economy. We also have Sport for Spirited Driving Days. We also have Tow Slash Haul for obvious reasons. And we have Slippery, Trail, and Deep Snow Slash Sand. This is the location for your AC outlet, your USB and your USB-C connection. This M here on the dial is for switching over to the paddle shifters. Anyway guys, if you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. This will really help out with the YouTube metrics. I just started the channel out any type of engagement will help you to push it out. 
and the constructive criticism is definitely welcome uh, the videos will get better over time so don't be too hard on me all right Ford performance when you enter the car to be reminded this is a Ford performance vehicle not, not mad at you Ford let them know all right the last time I drove an Explorer was my Explorer way back in I had that car for seven years I got rid of it after 266,000 miles and I have to say that was a pleasurable car to have it fit everything I needed to fit in there it was the two-door sport so it had that sporty look and I'm not gonna lie I enjoy, I thoroughly enjoyed that car now it's been a while so I'm pretty sure there's a lot of changes since that car and this car is gonna feel a lot different when I'm driving it and this is the ST model so it's supposed to be supposedly has a lot more performance so we're gonna check it out this car is long to be so I'm not gonna get on it like that but uh Oh yeah, I can feel this has pickup already. Responsive acceleration. Oh yeah, I like this. I like the brakes. So Ford doesn't sell sedans anymore. So it's important that their SUVs have sedan-like driving characteristics. And the Ford Explorer has that because it's built on unibody construction. I wanted an SUV for a while. I've had sedans and I haven't owned an SUV since my Dodge Durango that I got rid of in um, 2015. And uh, after I got rid of it a year later, I was really missing it on because of the things you can do with it. You know, load up, go pick up things, pick up a lot of passengers. And I missed that. Can't do that. Can't do certain things in a sedan. I know these roads like the back of my hand because I live around here. And I like I like the way this is feeling going over these bumps. overall impression of the uh, 2021 Explorer ST I like it as far as uh, an SUV that's fun this is one that's fun definitely fun it has enough power to make your trip exciting and enough room for a nice road trip and nice visuals for your uh, your rear seat passengers looking outside so I like it overall I love it